what's poppin hope all are fine so this is an amazing day hope you to have an amazing and fresh day so i created this video a few months back in the month of february for a competition so this competition was on instagram this competition was held by the environment agency of dabi so i created this documentary about dugongs so make sure to watch till the end and at the end of this video guys i have to tell you something so let's watch this dugongs the awareness of dugongs varies from little to no awareness at all in some countries people do not know what a dugong is and prescribe it shark like actors in others culture believe in the healing power of the dugong have led to the loss of the animal in other countries the dugong is a sacred animal in yet others a food source dugong as magnificent and charismatic sea creatures indicative of ecosystem health is not top of mind the dugong is a medium sized marine mammal it is one of four living species of the order sirenia which also includes three species of manatees it is the only living representative of the once diverse family dugondia its closest modern relative stella sica was hunted to extinction in the 18th century the dugong is the only strictly herbivorous marine mammal the dugong is the only sirenian in its range which spans the waters of some 40 countries and territories throughout the indo-west pacific The dugong is largely dependent on seagrass communities for sus- subsistence and is thus restricted to the coastal habitats which support seagrass meadows with the largest dugong concentrations typically occurring in wide shallow protected areas such as bays mangroves channels the waters of large inshore islands and interreefal waters The northern waters of Australia between Shark Bay and Morton Bay are believed to be dugong's contemporary stronghold. The dugong has been hunted for thousands of years for its meat and oil. Traditional hunting still has great cultural significance in several countries in its modern range, particularly northern Australia and the Pacific Islands. The dugong's current distribution is fragmented and many populations are believed to be close to extinction. The IUCN lists the dugong as a species vulnerable to extinction while the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species limits or bans the trade of delivered products. Despite being legally protected in many countries, the main cause of population decline remains anthropogenic and include fishing related fatalities, habitat degradation and hunting. With its long life span of 70 years or more and slow rate of reproduction the dugong is especially vulnerable to extinction dugongs along with other sirenians are referred to as sea cows because their diet consists mainly of sea grass when eating they digest the whole plant including the roots although when this is impossible they will feed on just the leaves A wide variety of seagrass has been found in dugong's stomach contents and evidence exists that they will eat algae when seagrass is scarce. Although almost completely herbivorous, they will occasionally eat invertebrates such as jellyfish, sea squirts and shellfish. Dugongs in Morton Bay, Australia are omnivorous, feeding on invertebrates such as polychaetes or marine algae when the supply of their choice grasses decreases. In other southern areas of both western and eastern Australia there is evidence that dugongs actively seek out large invertebrates. Dugong numbers have decreased in recent times. For a population to remain stable 95% of adults must survive the span of 1 year. The estimated percentage of females humans can kill without depleting the population is 1 to 2%. This number is reduced in areas where calving is minimal due to food shortages. Even in the best conditions, a population is unlikely to increase more than 5% a year, leaving dugongs vulnerable to overexploitation. The fact that they live in shallow waters puts them under great pressure from human activity. Research on dugongs and the effects of human activity on them has been limited, mostly taking place in Australia. In many countries, dugongs number have never been surveyed as such trends are uncertain with more data needed to comprehensive management
Despite being legally protected in many countries, the main causes of population decline remains anthropogenic and include hunting, habitat degradation and fishing related fatalities. Entanglement in fishing nets has caused many deaths although there are no precise statistics. Most issues with industrial fishing occur in deep waters where dugong populations are low with local fishing being the main risk in shallow waters. As dugongs cannot stay underwater for a very long period, they are highly prone to death due to entanglement. The use of shark nets has historically caused large numbers of deaths and they have been eliminated in most areas and replaced with baited hooks. Hunting has historically been a problem too, although in most areas they are no longer hunted with the exception of certain indigenous communities. If dugongs do not get enough food to eat, they may calve later and produce fewer young. Food shortages can be caused by many factors such as a loss of habitat, death and decline in quality of seagrass and a disturbance of feeding caused by human activity. Sewage detergents, heavy metal, hypersaline waters, herbicides and other waste products all negatively affect seagrass meadows. Human activities such as mining, trawling, dredging, land reclamation and boat propeller scaring also cause an increase in sedimentation which smooths seagrass and prevents light from reaching it. This is the most significant negative factor affecting seagrass. The lack of information on seagrass ecosystems and their importance for sustaining the livelihoods of coastal communities and the role they play for helping to mitigate climate regulations, maintain marine water quality and marine biodiversity have made the ecosystem of little concern for communities and decision makers. Seagrasses are submerged flowering plants found in shallow marine waters such as bays and lagoons and along the coastal shelf in the Gulf of Mexico. A vital part of the marine ecosystem due to their productivity level, seagrasses provide food, habitat and nursery areas for numerous vertebrate and invertebrate species. The vast biodiversity and sensitive sensitivity to changes in water quality inherent in seagrass communities makes seagrass an important species to help determine the overall health of coastal ecosystems. Seagrasses perform numerous functions as stabilizing the sea bottom, providing food and habitat for other marine organisms, maintaining water quality and supporting local economies. Although dugongs are social animals, they are usually solitary or found in pairs due to the inability of seagrass beds to support large populations. Gathering of hundreds of dugongs sometimes happen, but they last only for a short time because they are shy and do not approach humans. Little is known about dugong behavior. They can go six minutes without breathing and have been known to rest on their tail to breathe uh, with their heads above water. They can dive to a maximum depth of 39 meters, which is 128 feet. They spend most of their lives no deeper than 10 meters, that is 33 feet. Communication between individuals is through chirps, whistles, barks and other sounds that echo underwater. Six dugongs found dead in Abu Dhabi as rock fishing put species at risk. It brings the total number of dead dugongs this year to 20, compared to 15 during the same period in 2017. Six dugongs have been found dead on Abu Dhabi coast with environmental experts blaming illegal fishing practices for putting the protected species at risk. The bodies of the creatures were found washed up from Al Sila to Gandhut by environmental agency Abu Dhabi, rangers who regularly patrol the waters of the Emirate. The mammals, affectionately known as sea cows due to them feeding on seagrass, are believed to have drowned in unmanned and abandoned drift nests. The discovery brings the total number of dugongs death in the UAE this year to 20, up from 15 on the same period 2017. It is believed the dugongs became ensnared in lengthy and illegal netting after necropsy result indicated the most probable cause of their death was drowning. The environmental agency has renewed its call for strict punishments over the use of so-called yearly nets, which are banned under federal law and are easily lost at sea and can ensnare wildlife. The Mohammed bin Said Species Conservation Fund is the executing agency of the Dugong and Seagrass Conservation Project. 
The Mohammed bin Said Species Conservation Fund is a significant philanthropic endowment established in 2009 in Abu Dhabi. UAE to provide targeted grants to individual species conservation initiatives recognize leaders in the field of species conservation and elevate the importance of species in the broader conservation debate. The fund's reach in species conservation is global and its species interest is non-discriminatory. 23 countries unite in Abu Dhabi to conserve the dugong. The two-day meetings kick off a week-long series of events in Abu Dhabi to focus global attention on the need to protect threatened dugongs, protect their seagrass habitats and empower governments. An international meeting in Abu Dhabi begins a week-long series of events to help conserve the sea cows around the globe. A new website aims to foster collaboration. Delegates from 23 of the 40 countries that are home to the dugong also came together in the capital to find better ways to protect the animals. The delegates' two-day meeting kicked off a week-long series of events in Abu Dhabi to focus global attention on the need to protect the dugongs and their seagrass habitats and empower governments, researchers and local communities to work on conservation projects. To that end, the Environmental Agency of Dhabi and the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals launched a website that encourages volunteer conservationists around the world to share their findings and gain access to wildlife protection agencies' databases. So I posted this video on Instagram on IGTV. And you guys crushed it. You hit the like button and thanks for all the support. So I'll show you the analytics. So guys, this is the video I posted. And I got 26K to be precise. 26,331 views and I got 21,506 likes. And guys, that was more than enough likes. So I got like more likes in the whole UAE territory. It was based on mainly in Abu Dhabi region so I got more than enough so guys thanks for giving that much likes and support and I won the first place obviously thanks for all the support and for the likes you have given so guys this is the certificate I got here you can see I've got this environment agency Abu Dhabi logo and inside there is a certificate Or to our next term to Indian Moral School, we know protect Abu Dhabi Dugong competition, Abu Dhabi. And we got the sign of the section manager. And this uh, ceremony was on 25th April. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, give a like and don't forget to subscribe. And until we meet again, work hard, stay blessed and peace out.